A dinner roll that tastes better than a flame-grilled steak? It may be hard to believe, but it's the side dishes that keep diners coming back to these steakhouses. Macaroni and cheese is a common side served at most steakhouse restaurants. It usually consists of tender pasta and a decadent and creamy sauce made with various types of cheese. Some restaurants will serve it with a crispy breadcrumb topping, but regardless, it's always a classic. The Capitol Grill serves its macaroni and cheese with luscious and meaty lobster chunks, which takes this dish over the top. On the company's social media pages, customers have called the side dish the best lobster mac anywhere and the best side dish ever. Fans praise it for its flavor, claiming it beats nearly everything else on the menu. If lobster isn't your thing, don't worry. The Capitol Grill has a wide range of additional sides that are truly spectacular, including cheesy au gratin potatoes, soy glazed Brussels sprouts with bacon, creamed corn with bacon, and fries with freshly grated Parmesan cheese and truffle oil. Forget what you think you know about creamed corn. Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse has taken this average side dish and transformed it into something truly spectacular. The restaurant chain's creamed corn is complete with the hefty texture you'd expect, along with a tasty flavor profile that might surprise you. The addition of blistered shishito peppers transforms this dish into a completely unique take on creamed corn, throwing spiciness and a smoky flavor into the mix. Topped with breadcrumbs for a nice textural contrast, you'll be coming back for this side again and again. In addition to its signature creamed corn, Del Frisco's also offers fresh spins on classic steakhouse sides like lobster macaroni and cheese, black truffle twice-baked potatoes, and colossal lump crab fried rice. The chain even makes creamed spinach, which comes with smoked bacon, egg, mushroom, and aged sharp cheddar. Hitting up a steakhouse is generally not the move for diners searching for the best vegetables, but Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar may change your mind about green sides with its signature sprouts. The restaurant's crispy Brussels sprouts with bacon are first flash-fried to obtain a perfectly crisp texture. Then, they are tossed in a homemade bacon vinaigrette and served with chunks of crispy diced bacon on top. Fresh and flavorful, this veggie-based side dish will make Brussels sprouts fans out of even the pickiest of diners. Aside from its famed Brussels sprouts, Fleming's offers over-the-top sides like pecorino creamed corn and its signature potatoes au gratin, which include a creamy blend of cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese, leeks, and jalapeno. Fleming's Prime Steakhouse also offers its unique spin on macaroni and cheese with its chipotle cheddar mac and cheese. Not only is its version spicy and unique, but diners can also add chunks of fresh lobster meat for an additional fee. The Brazilian steakhouse Fogo de Chão is a unique place to dine, featuring a wide array of traditional Brazilian starters, entrees, and sides that keep diners coming back for more. In addition to the show-stopping churrasco cooking techniques that make the chain steaks so appealing and delicious, the restaurant is known for its po de queijo. Served throughout the duration of your meal, this side is a traditional Brazilian cheese bread that is made with sweet and sour yuca flour and Parmesan cheese. Best of all, diners who can't eat wheat can still enjoy the rolls because they are naturally gluten-free. At Fogo, my job is to draw out the natural flavors. Other sides you'll enjoy at Fogo de Chão include seasonal Brazilian soups, sweet and salty caramelized bananas, and polenta. Another popular option unique to Brazilian steakhouses is verofa, which is made with sautéed yuca flour and flavored with bacon, sausage, and seasonings. Additionally, the Brazilian steakhouse is known for its market table, which consists of an array of fresh and seasonal items that can be paired with steak entrees. Included in the market bar are dips like hummus, sides like corn chowder, and seasonal salads. Corn is a popular side dish for steak. While most steakhouses simply serve corn on the cob with butter, salt, and pepper, Longhorn Steakhouse takes it to another level with its fire-grilled corn on the cob. Grilled on an open flame to give the corn a bit of charred flavor, the cob is then drizzled with Longhorn Steakhouse's homemade Mexican crema and sprinkled with seasoned Parmesan cheese. The result is the restaurant's take on Mexican street corn with a steakhouse flair, making it the perfect pairing for any steak on the menu. Other standout side dishes at Longhorn Steakhouse include crispy Brussels sprouts with smoky honey butter, baked sweet potatoes topped with cinnamon sugar and butter, and fresh steamed asparagus seasoned with a lemon sauce. No matter what side dish you choose here, you're guaranteed a unique flavor combination that captures the essence of the South. Vegetarians don't often find many appealing options on steakhouse menus. However, Perry's Steakhouse has set out to change that. In fact, there's one side dish that helped it earn a spot on Insider's list of best vegetarian-friendly steakhouses. The restaurant's Spaghetti Squash Primavera is a side item that's flavorful and delicious. When paired with other vegetables from Perry's menu, it makes for a satisfying entree. 
If you're a steak eater, the light and balanced flavors of spaghetti squash mixed vegetables, San Marzano tomato sauce, and pecorino cheese are sure to elevate your steak dinner while providing you with the hearty helping of veggies. If spaghetti squash primavera isn't your thing, Perry's also has other side dishes that stand out. The restaurant's sherried mushrooms are hearty and vegan-friendly, while the truffle steak fries satisfy cravings for meat and potatoes with a unique and flavorful twist on a classic steakhouse side dish. Another surprising side that is a hit with diners is the restaurant's fried asparagus, which is topped with jumbo lump crab meat. Perhaps the only thing as unforgettable as the taste of a Ruth's Chris steak is the sound of a Ruth's Chris steak. Ruth's Chris is known for the way its steaks are served, sizzling on a plate that's 500 degrees Fahrenheit. This ensures your steak is not only cooked to perfection, but that it also remains warm while you enjoy it. The restaurant is also celebrated for its shareable sides, and one of the favorites is the premium lobster macaroni and cheese. This over-the-top side dish is made with perfectly cooked cavatappi pasta, large chunks of tender lobster, and a creamy white cheddar cheese sauce. On top of that, Ruth's Chris Diners can enjoy a festive-flavored sweet potato casserole topped with a crunchy pecan crust, or the restaurant's signature creamed spinach. For fans of meat and potatoes, there are multiple choices, including traditional baked potatoes, creamy garlic mashed potatoes, or cheesy potatoes au gratin. Texas Day Brazil is a Brazilian steakhouse with a full menu of unique sides that are so good, they rival the steaks. Must-haves can be found in the menu's hot item section. Some of the most tempting include Brazilian cheese bread, a staple at Brazilian steakhouses that goes perfectly with grilled meats. Another iconic side dish at Texas Day Brazil is the sweet fried bananas, a delicious ending to your meal or a companion to your entree. Additionally, the restaurant offers lobster bisque, garlic mashed potatoes, and sautéed mushrooms with wine. For a fresher option, check out Texas de Brazil's salad area, which allows diners to pick from a variety of curated offerings or create their own using the restaurant's wide array of fresh ingredients. Choose from greens like spring mix or romaine and top it off with sliced tomatoes, steamed asparagus, hearts of palm, capers, or malagueta peppers. Dress your salad with house-made dressings like orange vinaigrette for a flavor-packed side. When it comes to tasty steakhouse bites, Saltgrass Steakhouse's range rattlers are not to be missed. This delectable offering consists of large shrimp that have been stuffed into cheese-filled jalapenos. The whole package is battered, fried, and served with homemade ranch for dipping, making for a bite that is crispy, crunchy, cheesy, and spicy all at the same time. One Saltgrass customer called them addictive, while others praised their one-of-a-kind nature. Most diners agree that the range rattlers are a must at the restaurant. They're so good, in fact, that you may even choose to pass on the other sides to make room. If you are looking for a traditional steakhouse side, Saltgrass has some options that are a step above what you'll find elsewhere. For example, the chain offers a unique take on a steakhouse mainstay with its smoked macaroni and cheese. Saltgrass Steakhouse also displays its Texas pride with the Shiner Bach beer bread. And don't forget to try the flash fried green beans, a crispy and flavorful way to enjoy your vegetables. Outback Steakhouse's famous Bloomin' Onion is widely known as a must-have when visiting the restaurant. It consists of a whole onion that has been uniquely sliced and dipped in Outback Steakhouse's signature batter. The whole thing is then fried until the onion looks like a blooming lotus flower. The restaurant pops your dip of choice in the center and serves it up. Once it gets to your table, take your time plucking off each onion petal and dipping it like you would an onion ring. Here in the Outback, you can't take anything for granted. You did remember how I love onions, didn't you? If you've still got room after your bloomin' onion, Outback has some one-of-a-kind sides that you won't find at other steak spots. For instance, in lieu of the traditional steak and potatoes, you can order a cup of spicy Tasmanian chili, which is perfect for warming up on a cool day. Or try the restaurant's blue cheese and pecan chopped salad for a creamy and crunchy bite that is on the lighter side. If there's any steak restaurant more famous for a signature side dish than Texas Roadhouse, we're not sure what it is. The love that fans have for the chain's rolls is unmatched, with some people going to the restaurant strictly for the warm bread. It's not uncommon for diners at Texas Roadhouse to view the entrees as an afterthought. Piping hot and covered with butter, these warm, doughy rolls are served with Texas Roadhouse's traditional and iconic cinnamon butter, which adds a kick of sweetness and spice that can't be duplicated. However, that doesn't stop food bloggers and fans from trying. There are plenty of copycat recipes circulating online, proving there's nothing Texas Roadhouse fanatics won't do for the signature flavor of the chain's famous rolls. For diners who go to Texas Roadhouse for more than just the rolls, there is also a menu filled with delicious sides like baked sweet potatoes with cinnamon and marshmallows, Texas red chili, and seasoned rice. Go to the Texas Roadhouse. They know how to do it right. Although they're not technically listed as a side dish on the menu, Logan's Roadhouse is better known by many diners for its fluffy, warm rolls than for its steaks. 
so much so that the company offers a dozen rolls to go with holiday meals, catering, and to-go orders. Diners can choose to order the rolls pre-baked or opt for the take-and-bake option, which can be cooked at home for an even fresher experience. Whether you select traditional butter or the restaurant's sweet honey butter, customers agree that Logan's Roadhouse rolls are at the top of the pack. Beyond serving great rolls, Logan's Roadhouse also has an excellent selection of sides. Although the menu options lean more traditional, there are a few unique dishes that aren't found everywhere. These include loaded fries, loaded sweet potatoes with marshmallows, and cinnamon apples.